Well, hello to all of the leaders here at Williams Temple, all of uh, the chairmen, uh, the administrators, and the administrative pastors. Uh, we can all agree that uh, 2020 has been, uh, for lack of better words, a different and somewhat challenging year. Uh, there are several adjustments that have had to be made. There are several cancellations of programs and activities that have taken place this year, uh, but yet through it all, God has continued to bless uh, the Williams Temple Church and the Williams Temple Church family. And the reason why I'm coming to you uh, now is for our year of 2021. Uh, no one but God knows how that year is going to go uh, as it relates to the coronavirus. However, we cannot go into 2021 without a plan. I want to submit to you that uh, starting January 1st, uh, we want to be up and running. Uh, outreach department in the community, the women's department, women's meeting, whether it's in person or a Zoom, uh, the youth department, we need youth activities going. Uh, the minister's board need to be involved in ministry. The deacon's board needs to be involved in ministry in the men's department. Every area of our church, we need to be up and running, impacting the community, impacting the schools, meeting the needs of the people that are within our reach here in the Third Ward community. So I want to challenge all of our administrative pastors and all our chair and chairmen and administrators. Look, get with the people that fall up under your supervision. They need to have a meeting with their staff and they need to come up with a plan and a curriculum for next year. We cannot and we will not go into next year without a plan. Okay, we have to go into next year with individual plans for our departments and auxiliaries. We have to have a goal and a vision, and that's uh, on the leaders of those individual departments, okay? But Williams Temple must remain vibrant and effective and relevant in this community. So I want each leader to contact uh, the leaders beneath them and let them know that the pastor is requesting a schedule of activities and events for next year, okay? You don't have to meet with them and you don't have to give them an idea unless they come to you and for your assistance. But I need for you to call each one of them on the phone and let them know that they need to meet with their staff and provide you with a curriculum and a copy of their minutes so it could be forwarded to the pastor. Amen. Not asking anybody to come to the church and meet or anything like that. I'm not asking you to do anything that you deem unsafe for you. However, we cannot sit around and not do nothing. We must engage. Uh, the community and we must engage ministry within these four walls. So I'm looking forward uh, to receiving this information back from you all. Look, today uh, we're right here close to the 20th of October. Uh, let's have these uh, ready for the first Sunday in December. I need your plans, I need your activities, I need your minutes, I, I need your curriculum uh, uh, of what you are planning to do in 2021. I need that information by the first Sunday in December, okay? So please get with the people that fall up underneath your supervision and your direction and let them know that we must hit the ground running in 2021. Look, God bless you. If you have any questions or concern, uh, feel free to call me on my cell phone. Hey, and let's, let's get the ball rolling. Uh, God has done great things. and He has continued to bless us. And he, he is expecting us to make a change 
and a difference in the lives of people. God bless you and God keep you.